So once you create your family tree, you're going to put it into a Google presentation. Uh, you'll go to your Google Drive. It's drive.google.com and you will create a presentation and what you're doing is pasting a picture into the presentation. First it's going to ask you to choose the slide format that you want to use so you can use any one because we're just going to be pasting right on top. Then change the presentation to your period number and then your first name, last name, or last initial. Then once you've done this, you can keep this widescreen or you can change it, file, page setup, change it to the standard. And at this point, you can right now share it with Mrs. Slim. And what you would do is share it, sraslim at gmail.com. There it is. And now I have my family tree in a different browser. So here's my family tree. I'm on a Mac, so getting a screenshot is a little different, but I'm going to pretend like I have the screenshot from a PC. So here we are. I have the uh, screenshot. I've done a print screen into the um, program. Now that I've done my print screen, I'm going to do a control V on a PC like the ones at school to get what's stored in my clipboard onto this slide. Now I have my screenshot in the slide, but I'd like to extend this so that when you print this, you're going to only print the family tree. Now one of the things I learned about the family tree is you can put in people's uh, dates of birth. What you need to do is click on show. Instead of showing show name only, you can put show name and birth date. So let's see how that looks on the family tree. If you have already done your family tree, you do not need to go back and do this. But so now it says show name only. I can show life dates. So the only person I put a life date for so far on this one was my mother, but I put it right here, and that's the way you can make it so that you can see the dates. So I'll change it back to name only, and next year I'll change the project so that it works a little bit better. And then now I've got this screen, and I'm going to just extend out the sides so that it's all just white on top of this slide. And I'm having trouble with that. I don't know why. Let's um, extend it even more. Okay. So you can see up in the screen on the left hand side, I still have this down here. Urgh. Let's do that. Okay. Let's just pretend it looks good. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's actually make it look good. So we've got pretty much a white border. If you look over here in the left hand corner, it tells you what the slide's going to look like. Um, let's just say I made a couple mistakes, and I think I did make a couple mistakes on this slide. And I've already shared this with Mrs. Slim, so she can see everything, but she's just going to get my final draft. What I can do is I can click on Shape. And um, let's see if I did make mistakes. Okay, Edith is my grandma, John's my grandpa, this is my mom, my dad, my uncle. Uh oh, I put Tia. That's wrong. So let's put this shape, and I'll just put a little square right here. See what we can do. Then I can right click, and I can put in edit text. And instead of Tio, I, or Tia, I would like to put Tio. Now, um, again, if you don't know how to do the accent marks, you can go to I Love Spanish .net and you would um, on the right hand side find those things um, typing accented letters I should make it look a little more outstanding it doesn't look too outstanding right now so I'll click that and 
uh, right here you can just type in the A or the I or whatever you need and then what you're going to do is a control C to get that into your um, clipboard and then you're going to come back to your thing and then you can do a control V to get that I in there. I already did it but uh, let's just pretend. So I have my me. Oh, this is, wait. That's not my grandmother. That's my mo my sister. That's my sister. This is my mother. My father. This would be my sister. So again, I'm gonna go to this shape. Click on the shapes. Get like a squarish looking shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I just want you to be able to correct your errors. And I'll right click on it. Edit text. And that is that's my sister. Hermana. So if you have made mistakes, it's okay. This is the way that we can correct them. And so now it's automatically saved. It, it keeps saving and it's already automatically the last version is shared with Mrs. Slim. If I wanted to save this as a picture file, I would go to File, Download As, and then JPEG Image. And then I would be able to save that wherever on the school computers you would want to save it onto your Z drive so that you have that and it would be called uh oh what did I call this I called it the wrong name three family Mazin S I already made my avatar assignment and that had just Mazin S so I need to give it the name family am I all set now looks good what we may do in the future is put in some more uh, information about the people um, that you have in your family and so we'd probably use text boxes like this but if I use a text box like this it's pretty um, transparent and there's no real way to change that um, like there would be in some of the uh, Microsoft programs so I hope you learned from this and uh, we're all learning together and I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing your family trees